St. Louis County Executive Sam Page has been meeting with restaurant advisors to try to figure out the safest way to continue indoor dining. On Monday, restaurants and bars can start welcoming customers back through their doors with some restrictions. News 11's Michaela McGee joins us from the Del Mar Loop to tell how restaurants are preparing. St. Louis County restaurant and bar owners were trying to wrap their heads around the fact why surrounding areas were allowing dine in, but the St. Louis County wasn't. But starting tomorrow, their journey to revival begins. Restaurants and bars in St. Louis County will reopen and permit indoor dining starting Monday, January 4th. The occupancy of all restaurants will be limited to 25% of their fire code capacity. A new mask protocol has been put into place and all locations will be required to close at 10 p.m. Those who dine in will have to leave their names and contact information to assist in contact tracing if a COVID breakout occurs. Owner Joe Edwards and his staff at Blueberry Hill have been preparing for their reopening day since the second lockdown began. They remodeled the floors and installed the required physical plastic and plexiglass barriers in the appropriate places. The staff is excited to have the regulars and new guests come in and experience Blueberry Hill. And not just them, but all the unique restaurants here on the Loop. I'm excited, the staff's excited, the customers are chomping at the bit to come back in and have this experience of Blueberry Hill. That's what makes St. Louis and the Del Mar Loop so cool. All these individual places that are really have their own personalities. And we're back, we're back. Joe Edwards says that restaurants reopening does not just help the restaurants. It helps our local stores and shops survive and thrive when the foot traffic is here, especially right here in the loop. Reporting, I'm Michaela McGee.